the biggest festive season is on pan india also the quarter 2 result season is on some of the large companies are already done with their results but we are staring at a packed week ahead of us and two of the companies from the sector which i am loving most right now investment banking they have declared their results angel 1 the stock was up 20% today and guess what i bought it yesterday btst another stock came up with its results towards the end of the trading day hdfc amc this is the largest company in the investment banking space it hit a new all time high today but as soon as the results were declared it fell in a heap we will talk about the results of both of these companies and what is in store which companies are still left in this pack especially if the results are gonna be this interesting we'll talk about all of that in the nugget section today hi everyone welcome to the update of 15th october another beaten down star from my portfolio varun beverages it hit a lower circuit last results this time expecting the stock to cross 700 this was a chart of varun beverages today continuously up the stock closing at the highest point of the day is always a good sign for the next day one more stock that i love a lot the sector which i love a lot oil marketing companies that was at the top in nifty 50 bpcl actually i hold iocl most and that is less volatile than bpcl which is less volatile than hpcl the familiar name lions in the red zone this is the lions stock it has fallen recently from above 3000 to below 2700 today now falls are okay stocks underperform in certain quarters one thing which i didn't like at all yesterday was the reliance owned channels beating down dmart the performance of reliance the retail arm was actually lot worse than what dmart was being touted for by the reliance channels also instead of acknowledging that vs we had a bad quarter the entire press the entire media was covered with statements from the reliance group stating that we have had a wonderful quarter investors can see through sectoral performance today was a day of telecom followed by aerospace and defense investment banking third now this was primarily because all the five large sectors were in bear territory today oil and gas led by reliance automotives ahead of the bajaj auto results tomorrow metals i have mentioned it many times they are dancing just because of the china stimulus today the news came that the china stimulus was fizzling out the best sector for two weeks continues to be investment banking followed by heavy machinery no one is challenging their position at all aerospace and defense the second best sector all green today the shipping companies were doing well not their usual 5% 10% gains but still pretty good grsc up nearly 5% the volumes were high the sector which was totally away from deep reds investment banking in today's day bsc which has run up nearly every day 5 6% that found space to correct 1.2% the biggest gainers motilal oswal 12% and angel 1 18% look at the volumes of this pack 12x for motilal oswal 9x for angel 1 4x for hdfc mc today the big boys reliance tcs hdfc all of them were down reliance down 2% that erased the gains of a super performance by icic bank atl infosys made another high and then corrected as a result nifty was down 0.3% and this fall was very early in the day after that nifty didn't go anywhere the good part is nifty did not attempt to break 25000 at all reliance was literally in a free fall kind of mode no strong hands came no recovery came tcs has been facing this from now for six straight days ever since its results came hdfc also more red than green below the line no such problems for icici up and also above the line same with airtel infosys looked good very early in the day it came down managed to close just in a little green in the banking space it was a sea of red including hdfc bank still bank nifty closed a little in the green that is mostly because icici bank was up 2% in this entire pack if i have to pick two stocks they would be icici and pfc wipro was up yesterday today it fell 3% profit booking tcs half percent down hcl made new high tech mahindra made new high persistent makes new high every day infosys made a new high so it good space to be in except perhaps tcs 
The defense talks did not like my statement yesterday about the new submarine order. Today, HL was up, but the new Bombardier drone contract has gone to Americans, not to HL or any of the domestic firms under Make in India, and there is no talk of partial manufacturing in India either. Seems like the government has finally realized that some of these companies have zero capabilities or very low capabilities to deliver results in a timely manner. The biggest disappointment for me in this space is HL. They are just order takers. ITC was up today also. Varun Beverages up three and a half percent. Dabur up a bit. Godrej Consumer up two percent. Britannia up one and a half percent. Radico was up. I tried the experiment today. Around three o'clock, no spike came. I lost a little money because I bought here. So the experiment actually failed. The criteria is that the stock should not be already up. Sea of Greens for investment banking. Fantastic volumes. Today for a change, BSC corrected no new highs. HDFC AMC, which is the largest company in this space, that made a new high. So did JM Financial, MCX. With result season in progress, this sector may be peaking for now. Select stocks may still go up. For example, Motilal Oswal, that is roughly around 60% mark. Angel One, after today's rally, that is around 60% mark. These two stocks specifically were beaten down a lot. Crude cracked today. As a result, ONGC and oil were down. The oil marketing companies were, however, up. And like I say, HPCL goes up most. That was up most, 4.2% compared to IOC and BPCL. MRPL has no idea whether it should go up or not. That was down today also, 1.5%. And today also, it tried to go up. And then remember that its direction is downward. Whatever may be the direction of crude, Chennai Petro corrected. Now I don't invest in Castrol. I think Castrol will go up a lot. It is in the beer zone right now. Looks like a 260 kind of target for Castrol. Turbulent phase for Nifty continuous up downs. Today it was down 0.3%. Bank Nifty slight up. IT down. Nifty energy corrected. Auto corrected. Next 50 slightly up. FIDI data by the time I started recording was not out yet. Today, I will not be surprised if FIIs bought a bit. If they sold, then I would expect the sell quantity to be significantly lower. Two stocks hit 52-week highs, Infosys, HCL. US stocks mostly green yesterday. Gold above 76,000, silver above 90,000. Bitcoin nearly 66,000. And Brent has crashed 5% today, below 74. If you look at the Brent's journey, roughly 78 to 72, 72 to 79, and then back to 74, it has traversed nearly 30% in just 15 days. Think of the people who trade in crude related commodities. Now, many times we wonder what is happening in US economy, why the US markets are not falling. This is the US jobless claims data. This skyrocketed during pandemic, came down and has actually not gone up at all. Let me change the resolution. This is the employed view. That employed view fell in the pandemic. It went up. It is at an all time high now, which means the economy of United States is not facing any pressures because people are unemployed per se. Now the forecast of inflation is showing this spike in the next few years. So the Fed chair is probably not going to get too many peaceful nights. India also is dealing with similar problems. Yesterday, the inflation number was high. So the next GST meeting on October 20, that is likely to discuss food. Nifty 50, best performance, ICICI Bank followed by Airtel, HCL Tech, BPCL and Ultra Tech Cement. Crude has fallen, so Asian Paints is back at the top. TCS, Wipro, Bajaj Auto, Bajaj Finance, Reliance, they are dragging Nifty most. 68% pressure just came from Reliance. Good to see Varun Beverages at the top, followed by Godrej, Adani Energy, Siemens, Interglobe. The bottom performers, Madarsan Sumi, JSW Energy, Divi's Lab, Vedanta, Jindal Steel. Union Bank is the number two stock in terms of distance from 52 week high. Beverages all good when Varun Beverages is up 3%. Chemicals out of the red zone, that's the impact of crude. IRB and RVNL held the construction sector together today. Cement was looking good as well. Trent was down today also, but it's still in green. Power pack did not go anywhere. Hotels look good today also. This is the best quarter for hotels. Insurance is looking terrible. 
एल आई सी थर्टी परसेंट अवे फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई गुड आउटिंग फॉर सीमेंस एंड ए बी बी इन द हैवी मशीनरी पैक मेटल्स डाउन अनदर गुड डे फॉर द रियल एस्टेट स्टॉक्स द सेक्टर वॉज ऑफ टू परसेंट पेशी रिटेलर्स ग्रीन सो वॉज टाइटन एंड पेज इंडस्ट्रीज एयरटेल बैक टू द ग्रीन जोन आईड अ हेक्टिक डे टू डे फर्स्ट द रेडिको एक्सपेरिमेंट फेल लाइक आई मैंशनड नो आई डेंट सेल एच पी सी एल आई बॉट एच पी सी एल एंड आई ऑल्सो बॉट बी पी सी एल एंड आई एवरेज डाउन ऑन एम आर पी एल आई बॉट निपोन एम सी एच डी एफ सी एम सी अ लिटिल मोर ऑफ केफिन दीज थ्री स्टॉक्स आर मोस्टली फॉर ट्रेडिंग दिस वन इज प्रॉबली फॉर टूमोरो बी टी एस टी जे एम फाइनेंशियल लाइक आई मैंशन ये स्टडे आई सोल्ड एच सी एल टेक्नोलॉजीज नो प्रॉफिट नो लॉस दैट्स ओके गुड प्रॉफिट इन मोतियाल ओसवाल नियरली टेन परसेंट गुड प्रॉफिट इन एंजल वन नियरली सेवनटीन परसेंट नाउ मोर देन द गेन्स एंड दिस ग्रीन टूडे आई एम मोर हैप्पी बिकॉज माई रीडिंग वॉज राइट आई हैव बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट द इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग सेक्टर फॉर अ वाइल एंड आई हैव पुट माई मनी ऑन द लाइन इट इज गुड टू सी द हार्ड वर्क डन इन दिज एनालिसिस कम ट्रू एंड मेक अ लिटिल मनी आउट ऑफ दिस ऑल्सो नाउ माई नेक्स्ट बैट इज ऑयल प्राइमरली ऑयल मार्केटिंग कंपनीज एंड एम आर पी एल दिस स्टॉक हैज डिस्ड मी मैनी टाइम्स but i'll still live by my conviction the results are on friday let's see how it goes this time nugget time today we'll talk about two investment banking stocks whose results were out hdfc amc is the largest company around 1 lakh crore in market cap angel one is literally a quarter of that size 25000 crore angel one has faced a lot of issues it has done now with those issues it has faced fines penalties whatever the regulator wanted and it is back on the recovery path right now hdfc did release a earnings presentation however i did not like it much they have just put the data in bar charts and pie charts so i'll use the raw results never use the stand alone financial results always use the consolidated view consolidated financial results total income 1058 crore last quarter this was 765 crore good healthy 30% plus jump total expenses 177 crore to 200 crore this is expected if the income is growing no surprise elements here there is one item here deferred tax q1 q this was minus 16 crore last time this time it is plus 95 crore so there is a difference quarter on quarter also year on year 22 has increased to 94 so about a 70 80 crore dip in the profitability because of the extra tax expense this time as a result total comprehensive income quarter on quarter has dipped but it has shown a healthy jump year on year 437 crore has become 580 crore roughly 30 to 35% growth earning per share this quarter is 27 one year back this was 20.45 again 30% kind of jump previous quarter it was 28.28 seems like a dip but like i mentioned this is mostly because of the deferred tax entry here when you're talking about 900 crore revenue 100 crore entry because of taxes deferred one does create a problem overall year on year is the generally accepted term so that is looking good now obvious question is based upon this result whether one should hold buy or get rid of the stock my personal feeling is that this industry will grow now there could be some profit booking because all of these companies are at lifetime highs so maybe take partial profits out that's what i'll probably do in a day or two maybe next week but i'll buy back these stocks strongly especially if there is a big correction in the market which gives me these stocks in a good price range time for the angels revenue from operations let's ignore the last digit 1514 crore compared to 1404 crore last quarter about 6% jump this was 1048 crore year on year approximately 50% jump to earn this income the total expenses were 943 crore this number was higher the previous quarter 1013 crore year on year this number was 642 crore so approximately 50% increase in cost as well nothing abnormal in the tax numbers total comprehensive income this quarter 422 crore this was 291 crore previous quarter previous year this was 304 crore so phenomenal growth shown by the company this year has been supportive for investment banking of course and this will continue for the foreseen time at least 
some companies may do better than the other ones but overall the segment should do pretty well this reflects in the eps as well 47 rupees compared to 32.5 q on q and 36 year on year now these are two companies which are done there is a huge list left in the listed space bsc cdsl kfin cams nuvama 361 motilal oswal nippon amc and mcx and then the smaller names icici securities jm finance there are a lot more which i don't cover like geojet financials edelweiss could big space decent numbers for most companies in general all of these companies will do well compared to each other yes there could be a drastic difference there is also an unlisted space NSC will go live soon, it will get listed soon, so will NSDL. HDFC Securities, there is no such sign. Two companies from the HDFC stable, HDFC Credela and HDB, they are coming up for listing right now. HDFC Securities still is unlisted and I hold the stocks in pre-IPO along with HDB. Hope this analysis was useful. This space is right now very costly in terms of the PE and the run-up. If you invest, then be cautious, maybe keep some stop loss. Hope this information was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.